Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is the refraction of light. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is glass, paper, pen, and water. So I'm doing a couple different tests with refraction, not to be confused with reflection. Reflection is with mirrors and windows, where refraction is the bending of light waves. And then I place a pencil directly in the water. You can see nothing's really happening there. Um, but when I put a diagonal um, with the half, you know, three-quarter full glass, it looks like it's mismangled or broken. The portion of the pencil above the water is shifted relatively to the image viewed under the water. The bending of the path of the light as it's passed through the water or air observed of the image of the pencil. So we could have the arrow on a piece of paper um, about four or five inches behind the glass. And we're going to pour water into the glass. As we can see, the arrow is pointing to the right. And we're going to see what happens when we pour the water into the glass and the refraction of light. And it's filling up. And we can see the arrow still to the right. And as it goes up, it would think magically switches. But it's the refraction of light that switches it back that. Well, you're not crazy. You're not seeing things. In fact, you just demonstrated a physics concept called refraction, the bending of light. When the arrow is moved from a particular distance behind the glass, which are four to five inches, it looks like it reversed itself. When the light passes through the material to another, it can bend or refract. This experiment I just completed, the tra light traveled from the air, through the glass, through the water, back through the glass, and then to back through the air before it hit in the arrow. Anytime light passes from one medium of material or to another, it refracts. Just because light bends when it travels through different materials doesn't explain why the arrow reverses itself. To explain this, you must think about the glass of water but like being a magnifying glass. When the light goes through the magnifying glass, the light bends towards the center. Where the light all comes together is called the focal point. Behind the focal point is the image appears to reverse because the light rays that were bent pass each other and then the light was on the right side is now on the left side and the left side on the right, which makes the arrow appear to be reversed. As seen here in the diagram, when the light goes through the glass of water, it comes down to a focal point and then back to the index card with the arrow for the reverse. Same thing with the smiley face with a wink on one side on the left hand side. When we pass it through the back of the glass about four or five inches behind, the wink goes to the right side and then all the way through it's back on the left side. Here you can see when the words are right or anything's right behind the glass, it's not reversed. It's not far enough back from the focal point so we can, so we can read it perfectly fine. But when we bring it back to four to five inches, the focal point is in the middle and we're not able to read it as it starts to reverse. I hope you enjoy this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe as we do a new video every day. Thanks for watching.